Another feature of Onsong 2022 is a new way of importing chord charts, sheet music, backing tracks, and even different patches for your guitar or main stage through a company that you might have heard of, Praise Charts. So if I want to import something from Praise Charts, I can just come in here to my Add Songs menu, tap on Praise Charts, and now I'm going to see all the popular songs on Praise Charts right here. Um, I can also tap on my library to see all the songs that I have already purchased. So you can come in here, download your stuff that you've already purchased on Praise Charts, or you can browse or search for songs as well. So for instance, you know, obviously this is for House of Worship. If I wanted to uh, search for a song, let's search for Might Get Loud. And I'm just gonna hit enter here on my keyboard. And there it is, Elevation Worship. I could tap on it and now I could see all the different resources that are available from Praise Charts. First of all, I get beautiful cover art so I can identify that this is the version that I do want. Um, and probably what's most popular that you're probably gonna look at is chords and lyrics, but you could also download even the vocal charts, the vocal sheet music. Maybe you're interested in brass, wind, orchestration. It's all available here. And you can also download audio tracks. But I'm gonna tap on chords and lyrics here and you can see I'm already signed in. I got some credits preloaded onto my account. So all I gotta do is press, press confirm purchase and Praise Charts is gonna put that through. Give me a check mark. And then here we are, we can just, just download that in different ways. The cool thing is you can import it with Chord Pro. And so that's completely editable within Onsong, completely transposable within Onsong. Uh, so I'm gonna hit import right there and that's gonna give me the Chord Pro version. You're gonna see it loads right there in the background. Um, I can also tap if I want like a two column layout for PDF in the key of A, that's the native key for this song. I can import that too. Um, maybe I want it also in the key of, let's see, I know that I, I do a lot of stuff in D. I'm gonna import the key of D here. And that's all importing it in the background. And now if I come over here to my song inside of OnSong, I'm gonna tap on that attachments button up in the menu bar and you can see now I have the Chord Pro version, but I also have two different versions of the PDF file. I have it in the key of A and the key of D. Uh, so if I wanted to, I can go to my style preferences menu and just transpose it right here. Now this is just, this is just a Chord Pro file, just a Chord Pro file. I say that like it's normal, but you know, I can edit this. I can format this Chord Pro file. I can do anything that I need to in Onsign. I can project lyrics. Uh, works great, but let's say I wanted to view that PDF chart, no problem. I just tap on the attachments menu, tap on what key I want, let's say the key of A, bam, I got it. And all the you know wonderful charting that is done by Praise Charts is right here in a two column format. Now the other cool thing is that Praise Charts and Song Select, you can transpose these. Uh, so once you're signed into Praise Charts or Song Select, you can tap on the style preferences menu. A lot of your features go away, but you still have the key that you want to transpose into, the capo and transposing instrument. Uh, so if I wanted this chart in the key of E flat, I just tap, you see a little spinner show up. It's reaching out the praise charts. It gets the chart, it loads it. Now, the other nice thing is, is that that's all preloaded and visible in our attachments menu. So you can see here, I've just downloaded the two column E flat uh, chart and I've transposed into it. Um, if I wanted to switch to any chart that I already have downloaded, it's instantaneous. If I don't have it, I wait a few seconds for praise charts to load it. And now it's in my library. I can use this completely offline if I needed to. So what if I wanted to load a backing track from Might Get Loud? How do I do that? So I can tap or just press on the play button here in my live bar. I could choose a custom track and maybe I wanna see if I have it in my OnSong audio library. I don't have anything in there. So I could hit the plus button. And now right down below there, I have praise charts uh, for me. I could tap on praise charts. Again, I might need to do a quick little search or just tap on my library and find the song that I've just purchased. Right there it is, Might Get Loud. And this is gonna give me all the backing tracks that OnSong currently supports. So maybe I wanna just get that backing track because my band's gone. I, I just need to be able to sing the song on Sunday. I'm gonna confirm that purchase and wait a few seconds here as everything runs through. There we go. I can pick what key I want to do it in. I want to do it in the key of A, so I'm going to import that. 
Wait for a second, there we go, it's in my library. I tap on it, bam, I have my backing track, I'm ready to go. Of course, it looks like I might need to transpose that into A if I'm gonna be singing along with the backing track. 